What's going on, guys? Michael from MMA Island. I'm here with Zach. We got the fight picks. We got a good one in the featherweight division. Gavin Tucker, the 11, 11 and 1. Gavin Tucker taking on the 16 and 4. Justin Janes. Justin Janes, as you might know, coming in on short notice as the as the five times multiplier, getting the knockout win over Frank Camacho. Uh, won me a lot of money because I picked Justin Janes to win that one. Uh, not going to go into my pick next because at first I'm going I'm to let Zach talk about it. So just really, really excited for this one. So Justin James, he came in and he just kind of demolished Frank Camacho in his short notice debut. It was impressive to see. And now I think if he goes in, he's kind of known as the short notice king. Here he goes, taking another short notice fight. And against a guy, Gavin Tucker. Now he in his UFC... Um, just in general in his career, he's looked pretty good, but you know, he's, he's a well-rounded guy, but his skills haven't been shown to be like elite yet. But one thing that's interested to, uh, interesting to me is that he's an established 145 pounder. Justin James is going to have to cut weight for this. He's not usually a 145 pounder. If I'm, if I'm correct here, he's usually a lightweight and his last fight with Frank Camacho is at lightweight. So that's a big consideration for me taking this fight on short notice and having to cut the weight on an extended period of time. We know that this, uh, and especially for not a natural weight class, we know that this is not very good for fighters. And what do we know about Justin James? He likes to go out. He likes to swing. He likes to drop people. <laughs> he has a uh, very, very good forward pressure, but I don't think that's going to work for him against a really big and physical guy like Gavin Tucker. I think that Gavin Tucker is honestly going to, if he mixes up his game with takedowns and he can get a submission against Justin James, I think that his strength is going to be a big, uh, big factor. I'm going to go Gavin Tucker. He's either going to win by a decision or a submission. I see a very, very close likelihood between the two. Yeah, three times in a row we got an agreement on this one. Uh, before I mention my factors of why I think Gavin wins this fight, I want to mention this because uh, I'm kind of basing my life around this UFC calculator lately. People, people always mention this, and this is another thing I should mention is, is I don't always pick with the UFC calculator. Uh, a, lot of my, a lot of my gut feeling I leave aside when I talk about this because – to be honest, I trust the calculator a little bit more than I do. Um, so uh, a little bit, a little bit more than I trust myself, I should say. Um, so just looking at this fight, this fight is very, very close on the calculator at 50.3% chance for Tucker to win. Um, so one thing I, I wanted to mention about this is I update, I update my, my factors and my, my data each fight. So two fights in at 50.3% chance after, after Al Casey and Zalal and Barrett and Rivera, well, Mix mix the way around. Yusuf Zalala and Al Casey's fight. Uh, looking at those two fights, if if the data goes a certain way, the pick could shift. It could go to Justin James halfway through the fight, or, or after the two fights. So that's one thing I wanted to mention. So this fight is very very close, is what I was trying to say. And and looking at Gavin Tucker, Gavin Tucker coming in this one eleven and one, losing one decision to Rick Glenn. Um, and Justin James, as I mentioned before, as we both mentioned, he came in on short notice fight, fighting Frank Camacho, knocking this dude out in the first round, 41 seconds. Uh, kind of shocking the world there. But looking, look, going back at it, can we really relate the two here? Because we look at Frank Camacho. Frank Camacho, obviously more of a stand-up guy, uh, a stand-up fighter. He, he hasn't really looked the greatest in past years. Lost to Benil Dariush, lost to Jeff Neal, lost to Drew Dober, lost to the Leech. Uh, obviously, those are top, top fighters in the, in the division. But I'm just looking at, at, at the vulnerability of these guys and looking at the vulnerability here with Gavin Tucker. Gavin Tucker is 11-1. This dude's coming in here with five submissions. He's got, uh, what is it? Yeah, three rear, rear naked chokes, two arm bars. And as you mentioned, he's in his natural weight class. He's, he's a guy who wants to take this fight to the ground. He's got, he's got the strength, as you mentioned it as well. I, I totally see Gavin Tucker taking this fight to the ground. I think it's equally likely that he gets a, he gets a submission or he wins this by decision because I don't think that he's going to want to brawl as much as uh, Frank Camacho did with Justin James. We saw how it worked out for Frank Camacho. I don't even think we're going to see the, the likelihood of that happening with Tucker here. Uh, I do think Tucker gets the win here, even personally, not even with the calculator. Um, I just value a lot more – him, him wanting to take this fight to the ground and not so much stand up and, and strike with, with uh, Justin James, as we, which, as we know, we'll actually, as you would see with Justin James' last fight, didn't really work out well for Frank Camacho, as I've mentioned. Uh, Justin James, again, 
coming in here with a very, very good streak of fights. Got three first round TKOs, a first round submission before that. Just this, this is a dude that I don't think we should be writing off if he loses this fight. Um, Cause I, I, I like Gavin Tucker here. He's got, so he's 11 and one coming in here for my, my, my Canadian brother is what I might mention, but I think I'll take Gavin Tucker in this one. I just think he's the more, the guy you can value style wise more. Um, so looking at Gavin Tucker, the calculator, as I mentioned, has it at a 50, 50.3% chance and a 53.5% chance of a decision. Um, I, I'm going to have to agree with it. I'll take him by decision as well. And uh, so, yeah, we both, we, we got three, three straight agreements. I hope you guys are watching in the right order, watch from the prelims to the main event. Cause that's how we're recording it. Um, really, really excited for this one. I know you guys are too. So just let us know in the comments, what you guys think. We want to see your feedback. We want to see your support. And uh, make sure you guys are checking out the other Fight Pick videos.